What's going on, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy Humble Warrior checking in with you. Um, I really wasn't trying to do a video today, but I feel like um, this needs to be cleared up because a lot of the national media is about to basically try to blow up Tua over this game. Yeah, they, they end up winning the game 17 to 16, but let me clear a few things up. Uh, first of all, they their first drive was scripted, but it went down the field. Uh, I think they went 80 yards, and then he ran in from two yards out. After that, um, Bill Belichick made his adjustments, and then I feel like the level that the level of intensity or the aggression went away. Uh, for some reason, his offensive coordinators would not let him throw down the field as much. And on top of that, his line, the, the biggest thing to this game, right, the biggest thing to this game today was offensive line. There is no way you're getting blown up off of simple blocks. You, you're literally every, damn near every time that boy snapped the ball, he's getting, he's getting blown up. He's getting pressure in his face. He got to roll out the pocket. He has to avoid getting hit. Um, he had, I know two drives where he had to damn near avoid getting hit while trying to get rid of the ball at the same time, trying to make the right play. Um, Again, his running game, I mean, it started off great, but after that, they just went south. Um, Jalen Waddle was great. Uh, Devontae Parker was great. Albert Wilson, they didn't even try to attempt to throw it to him except once, and it was picked off um, because it got tipped around three times and got picked off, which was completely to his fault because he should have threw it out of bounds and just lived to fight another day. But allow me to say this. This game... Um, Tua is far from being a bust. Um, let me clarify something, though. He does have to work on, you know, better decisions and stuff like that because the play calling was was atrocious, was downright horrible. Um, the way they was, the blocking schemes, the way they were doing certain things was terrible. New England looked like the, the veteran team that was just eating up Miami's non-existent defense they couldn't get no pressure once Raekwon Davis got hurt once he went out the game it's like the defensive line had no chance in hell they just Matt Matt Jones had all the time in the world to throw literally I'm not even joking so it made him look better than what he is not saying he's a bust but I mean the kid literally had nobody in his face and the two two or three times he did he was able to get rid of the ball because of the soft ass coverage they played and uh you know in the middle of the field or on the flats. So it gave him an out. Instead of taking a sack, he was able to throw it for like four or five yards, which is basically what Tom Brady used to do, dink and dunk you. And then he'll throw it over the top of your head. But Mac Jones, because of their corners, he's not gonna try to attempt to do that because he don't want an interception, which is smart, which is a smart part on him. Now, with that being said, this is a complete team win. Um, I won't give Tua credit for this one, but I feel like he did he did what they asked him to do, but I wish he would have did more. I mean, because some of that game, I was waiting for him to just take over it, you know, take some shots. But looking at the highlights, so I'm about to go back and look at the film itself. It doesn't look like he had much. It doesn't like they gave him much to, to throw to. So I was trying to figure out, like, what are they doing? Because the two offensive coordinators had stated they were going to make things easier for him, but... You gave him water, but then the second half or the after the third, after that first drive, where you threw the touchdown to water, you didn't go back to him because the defense made an adjustment and tried to take him out the game. At that point, you should have been going to Albert Wilson, who probably had one-on-one -on -one coverage. But because your line was so fucking horrible and they could not maintain simple blocks, we're talking about one-on-one -on -one blocks. You getting blowed up. Now, the rookie, okay. The rookie left, left tackle, okay. You know, I understand it does happen from time to time, but... For Davis or, or Hunt or whatever to get blown off blocks or to get thrown to the side while, they, while they're while chasing to her, that's unacceptable. You have the Buffalo Bills next week at home. And even though they lost to Pittsburgh, they're going to come in there pissed off about that game. And, and if you can't maintain, if you can't get pressure on Mac Jones, then imagine what Josh Allen going to do to your defense. I mean, so before people start, you know, coming with that BS about um, how Tua is this and he sucks and da 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 and he wasn't able to do this and do that. 
in my opinion, he did exactly what they asked him to. Now, do I want him to do more? Absolutely. He can do way more than what he did today. I thought it was going to put up at least 200 and some yards, but it put up 202. Now, some of those plays that he actually converted first down, the rep, that's another that's another thing that I, I got to touch on. I cannot go, I cannot, I cannot not touch on this situation. The, the whole penalties in those games, in this game, made no sense. I don't understand the point of them. They called flags on Miami left and right just to try to keep New England in the game. And some of those calls of bull was bullshit. Straight, the illegal, the illegal use of hands to the face, it showed the replay. He didn't even touch him in his, in his face mask, but they called it. Then they called another penalty that actually wiped out a first down. I'm just like, are y'all, are you really trying to help New England win this game? I mean, and Brian Flores, the whole taking two out to put um, Jacoby Brisket in, I understood the, the quarterback sneak because he's bigger. But at that point, you take him back out, you put two back in there so that he can run the offense. You don't leave two on the sideline, and then people go, oh, well, now he's getting benched again. And do you even know football? Do you have any common sense at all? Are you going to use it? I mean, people kill me. It's, I don't. I don't understand this national hate for Tua. Like, what the, the kid does nothing except go out there and try to do his best, and still he gets blasted left and right. I don't know how many times I get on social media and defend this man repeatedly because a dumbass is like the dude that that got on the Tomas and what he should call this blocking scheme and this and this and adjust the blocking schemes the right way. Yes, but if you only send three men, why would you have to? Why you? Why would you need? to call a blocking scheme is three people it's five of y'all it's three against five so that's simple math right that means it's two extra damn linemen that should be pancaking people so that he can have all the time in the world to look down the field and make the correct pass but it's all on him right see stuff like that is the reason why i get on social media and say what i say because it doesn't make any sense and even when they drop back in coverage the majority of their stuff was like over the middle to try to keep him hit him over the middle. He didn't, I don't think he had even attempted to go deep down the sideline, maybe once or twice. Other than that, when it wasn't Waddle, it was it was Parker killing him. But even they could only do so much, and it's like, Will Fuller, I, well, he was suspended this game, so they'll have him week two. But I'm curious to see how all this going to pan out against Buffalo because they got a lot to work on. The offensive line is the number one thing. They have got to get that line together. Because there's no way people are going to put this all on tour. There's no way that's going to happen. That, But it's going to happen. The entire social media network is going to blow this kid up over what he wasn't able to do today. But to me, he did he did enough in those touchdown drives to get him the lead. Would I like to have seen 24 points? Absolutely. I figured they could have scored 35. But the NFL doesn't work like that. And for those who think it does, you're retarded. You're absolutely retarded. But Miami can be a lot better than what they were. And I, if I'm Coach Flores, I'm preaching the tour, you know, we, it's one game at a time. Yeah, we won this one, you know, which is, it was a big win for them because had they lost this game, you're basically at the bottom of the division. Right now, they're at the top. Because Buffalo lost, uh, New England lost, and the Jets lost. So Miami's at the top. They're sitting at 1-0 by themselves. So to me, Get off! I mean, get off this man nuts! Stop! Stop making every damn thing or every freaking mess up that the team has all about Tua because the, the damn team is not all about him. It's not. So quit with the BS about you know what Tua did this and he did that and he did this because it's not all about him. Could he have played better? Yes. I don't debate that part, but for you guys to sit here and talk about what he did and how he could have did this and how you expect more. It's the, it's the fucking NFL. It is the National Football League. It is not Alabama versus Ohio State or Alabama versus damn Tulsa. This is not college, so get that to your thick ass skulls. The same way Jalen Wilder just found out today, the speed in the NFL is very real. Even though he's fast, he's seen today how fast those guys are out there. Even Devontae Smith, you know, which I plan to make another video about Jalen Hurts because that situation by itself, it, it blows my mind. They watered down his offense so much that he was able to put up 240-some yards. 
off of barely, what, 23 passes I think he took, or 27 passes. That blew my mind how, how, how much they watered in the offense. But let me not digress to that subject. The fact of the matter is the offensive line for Miami is trash. Straight up trash. And unless they improve it, Tua's going to spend all this season getting hit, trying to avoid pressures, and end up making more turnovers than what he needs to. Because technically today he should he should have thrown for two or three touchdowns. But it's New England. Every defense is different. So to say, well, you know, well, he should be putting up these numbers. You got to look at the defense he's playing, the coverages they, they run, and the schemes they have. He's not going to put up two, three hundred yards against New England. Hell, nobody hardly does. You're not going to do that. The Bills, maybe. He has a chance because Big Ben went off on him today. He didn't have a stellar game, but, I mean, they won, and they had a blocked punt. That, that helped him as well. So Tua can more than likely get that. He can probably, you know, beat Buffalo. And it's at home, so they'll be juiced up to actually be better. But for all those, for all you guys that's going to come out out of your damn cave, talking about some, well, Tua sucks, and he's trash, and he ass, and he – he did this and that, that, and then the interception he threw. Yeah, again, the interception, that's his fault. That's that's his total fault. But this man made dime passes in key moments of that game to help them win. It's not all about them blowing out a team or throwing 400-plus yards. The only thing we ask them to do is progress. Did he do that today? Yes. Can he get better? Yes. Yes and yes. He, he progressed and he can get better. Because I wanted him to do more than 202 yards. But you know what? That's 202 yards from this year or from this game. That the next game, he can probably put up 250, maybe close to 300 yards. Because he's going to be having a, he gonna have a shootout with Josh Allen. Because I don't see the Bills being held to, you know, what they got held to today. But I'm, in, in actuality, I'm hoping that they will, Miami defense will be able to stay with, with Josh Allen and give to a plenty of possessions to get up on the scoreboard like put up 20 24 to 25 points maybe 30 points to stay ahead of the bills so that they can hang on to win the game they're not gonna put up 40 points 40 40 plus points against the buffalo bills but if you get up 24 maybe 31 points on the board you can maintain that momentum you can actually stay ahead of the chains by just moving the chains, getting first downs. you ain't got to score every single possession which is why i put out that well, how about that first? How about that first drive by Miami? Then people, what about the what about the next three? Motherfucker, it's a football game. It is a football game. I don't know no team that goes out there every single drive and score. It don't work that way. People defenses adjust, and the opposite team will shut you down. They will find ways to stop what you're doing. That's what they're supposed to do. So again, the stupidity of people is amazing to me. It's like, well, so what were you expecting? A 400-yard game? What what Dak Prescott did when he, you know, had to, had a shootout with Tom Brady? No, this is to a second season. He's still learning that offense, even though I felt like he had more command today. But I also feel like his primary weapons were not out there on display. Albert Wilson came in, I think, at a later point in the game. They didn't really put him on. He didn't really start. So Jalen Warner got the start, and Devontae Parker got the start. And I feel like if you put the four of them out there with him, Fuller, him, Parker, Fuller, and Wilson, put them boys out there with, along with Gorkowski and watch what Tua can do to a defense. But you got to give him time to do that. It all falls upon him having time. It's not about him, damn, you know, getting less and less time in the pocket because that don't make no sense. Pocket collapse around you. How the hell you, how the hell you make a play? And most people will agree with that, but they'll argue the fact that, you know, well, he, he didn't have a great day today. Okay, nobody's debating that. But we are saying he needs time. Once again, it's the same narrative from last year. The same exact narrative. This is this is this is this is the first game. He barely got any time in the pocket. And when he did try to step up or try to make a play here and there, you know, he was able to make it, but he had less than two seconds. While Matt Jones probably had maybe four or five. So it's a big difference when your offensive line is getting beat up and those, the, your defense can't get can't get to that the opposing quarterback to save their life to give your to give your offense back the ball. Now they got a critical you know turnover down the stretch, and then from there the Miami Dolphins offense got a critical first down 
and they, you know, ran the clock out, but what's up? But outside of that, I mean, they got work they got to do because they expect to win, which I still think they will win 12 games. This is just first game, so people shouldn't go into a panic mode, which they probably going to do, saying bench two or saying get Jacoby Brissett in there, like he's going to do any better. Like he's gonna like he's gonna actually run the offense to perfection when he's not. But I didn't realize one game dictates a man's future. Because all I read up and down social media was well not all, but it was it was some it's it's the one two it's the one two the one and two people that's like trolling to it that irks my nerve. It's like what's the what's the point of you being on here to get attention? I mean, because you're not watching the game, then what the fuck are you talking about? What's the point of you being on here to talk? So to me, you shouldn't be, your your opinion should not even be valid because you're not even giving a, a logical statement. Like the one guy too much all on tour. That don't even make no damn sense. Yes, as a quarterback, you're supposed to be able to, you know, call, you know, blocking assignments and stuff like that. But if that's what you're doing and they still send three people and they still get home, how is that your fault? I can't. Tell you, hey, we're going to, you know, uh, champagne, champagne, you know, eliminate 23, which, hell, for all I know, could be blocking to the left and then, you know, or veering to the left and, you know, maintaining your block. But if you get, if your blocks get shared and the dude get in the backfield, that's that my fault. Did you, you didn't do your fucking job. You didn't put the man on his ass. You just let him blow him by you. And then he made the tackle. He got the sack. So... They're going to go back to the film room. They're going to look at this film. They're going to get better. They're going to talk about it because they got work to do. But they still want to know it's better to be an 0-1. Now, the Patriots may say, well, we let them get away. Yeah, they the Miami Dolphins got you. But when you guys go down to, to you know, uh, Hard Rock Stadium, it might not be the same. Because Brian Flores will have, he's going to have a brand new game plan for them. So to me, all this jibber jabber about oh well they barely won the defense. Yeah, the defense helped them seal the win, but they're not the defense ain't gonna do that all the time. This is the overall team game because if the, if the offense don't get that first down, then guess what happens? They right back on the field and guess what happens then? Take a guess. Go ahead. They're gonna give a damn field, gonna lose the game. So Tua had to do his part, just like the defense got the turnover and got the offense back on the field. It is a team effort. <laughs> Sorry, but that was a bug in my nose. But anyway, man, just give me you guys comments. What do you think? Um, like I said, I'll. It's a lot that's gonna happen over the next week. I already know it because they're gonna try to bury him. They're gonna try. It's gonna be a lot of people reacting to how Mac Jones played and how he looked solid and blah blah blah. Even though he did check down the majority of the game and ne Nelson Aguilar kept getting open. You know, in, in in a zone coverage, he kept getting wide open. But they're gonna say, "Oh, Mac Jones looked great. He looked he looked poised as a rookie." The the first time they pressured Mac Jones, he he threw it right into the feet of his own of his own offensive player, which is a four, which is a backwards lateral pass, which is a fumble. Had that guy not jumped on, that was a turnover. But hey, you know, the rest of the game, they made sure he didn't get no pressure on him like that. They made sure of that. Because they didn't want him committing too many turnovers. And he did not sit there and call out coverages and all that stuff. He didn't do all that. He just ran the play they told him to run. And got and majority of the game, they ran the ball. And that was to keep the Dolphins defense honest so that they wouldn't pin their ears back and go after the kid. So give the offensive coordinator for New England credit. He kept the game plan very simple for Mac Jones. He did. But nonetheless, Miami got the victory. Um... Like I said, two of his numbers weren't the greatest, but 200 yards is a decent day. It's a good day, so I'll take it. But that's enough for me, guys. I figured I had to get on here and just, you know, tell you what was on my mind or whatever. And, um, you know, we'll see what week two brings. But it's still, I'm still team Tua. I still believe in what he can do. Like I said, if you give him time in that pocket, he's going to kill you. And I pray to God next week that's exactly what they do because I want him to shred that Bills defense so bad. But anyway, guys, peace.